Alright man, who we got on Futures TV right now, man? Oh, man if y'all don't know, I go by the name of DJ Esud. Uh, the street execs, the real university, no stress campaign, you know, Carolinas, 336, high point to be exact. Uh, you know, what's up Futures? Hey man, this is just an honor right here, this is a blessing man. We've been trying to get this interview for a minute, you know what I'm saying? You be busy, always moving. Gotta um, stay busy, gotta be working, man. But we put it together. We here, we in Greensboro now. We like in the cut, we posted like in the duck off in Four Seasons right now in the parking lot. So, uh, yeah, what's good though? Okay, how, how did you get your um start though? Like you know what I'm saying in the, in the music industry. I've been a musician for years. I've loved music growing up my whole life. Uh, from the drum line back in High Point to throwing parties. I think that's what it really was, man. Just parties and. Even in middle school, I had a CD burner, so I was like just jugging CDs. That's my hustle. Music's always been my hustle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's really all I've known, you know what I'm saying, for years. And then just one thing led to the next from throwing parties in high school to graduating and then going to A&T. So still having that college and the streets. And just linking up with the right DJs, the right big homies. Having love, being real, being cool, being myself, being original. You know? yeah. Yeah, just feeding the streets from the mixtapes to the online to the breaking artists to breaking songs to yeah, shit traveling. Yeah, link me with street execs. Um, which link me with two chains. Which shit now we still going, sir. Still building, no stress. Still building. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of my partners building as well. So yeah, that's that's the uh, next question I was about to ask you. Like, how did you uh, meet two chains, and how long have you been with two chains? Mm. Was he with the Titty Boy? I've been, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've, been, I've been rocking. I've been rocking with Street Exec since about my dog Jay White. He introduced me to DJ Techniques when we went down to Tunica, Mississippi for the SEA Awards, and that was like probably 2009. Yeah. So uh, you know, I just I'm real heavy with my network. You know, yeah. that, that's really what a lot of people know me for, from just building relationships and and just networking. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I just link with Technique. You know, him and Al, that's, they were street execs at the time. Him, Al, and Jason back in 2008, 2009. Yeah. But just, Technique lived in Atlanta. So, shit, with Nap's crew, we used to go down to Atlanta once a week, once every, every other week, just to hit the open mics. Yeah. Just to move in the street the same way we move up here. But it's taking it to where it was a little bit different game going on as to where we could still learn. You know what I'm saying? And Most came definitely. back and applied those moves here. But, uh, Every time I went to Atlanta, I always plugged in with Technique. Okay. You know, whether it was going to the office and then, you know, after a while, I was like, Alan Tech, like, sir, bro, we love what you're doing. You always got new music, you putting us on shit, you working your artists. Uh, yeah, we need that on our team. Like, they go yeah. to the street exec shield. Like, do what you do, but add that street execs for us. Like, pipe us up in the Carolina, let's take this thing, you know? And yeah. shit, now we worldwide, we international with it, bro. That's what's up, man. So, like, you know, somebody that's watching this interview right now, a DJ or a rapper, they probably think that when they get in the game, they're going to start making money instantly. Right. Um, how long did it take you to really make money in this game, in this music industry? Man, like I said, shit, seventh grade, I was, it was $7 for my playlist CD, or oh, it was $10 if you wanted me to burn the songs that you wanted me to make your list. So, shout out to Napster and LimeWire right there, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? But me and my boy Rupesh was the only one jugging under the, I guess the music, and that wasn't even on a DJ tip at the time. It was just my music selection. And yeah. I had a way to, yeah, I like these songs. I want you to hear these songs. Like I was putting people on game already. You know yeah. what I had? A, I, I been, I been cool for a little while. Like I had some popularity, like shit. Middle school, high school, like, yeah. you know, I had, I had friends, you know what I'm saying? I was cool with folks, so, like, you know, I was just supplying people with with the good vibes. And then, like I said, that led to parties, so I've always been, this has always been a business for me. Yeah. Like, I previously said, this is what I know, bro. Like, this your life. This, this is what I know, like, this is really yeah. what I do. Yeah. So, it's, it's always been a funding for me, you know, like, in middle school and high school, so I didn't have to ask my parents for whole lot of money you know what I'm saying like in high school when I really started doing the parties like my first party was with some of the guys in the drum line with me yeah and you know we rented out the YMCA in High Point I was like yo shoot, this is cool to see this kind of money like on some 10th grader you know what I'm saying yeah. situation so you know 
everybody didn't stay down with the parties, but that was what I really had my vision in. So the first one, did you really make money like that, or I mean, for yeah, we bust down like we probably bust down like after our bills, we bust down like a cool two thousand dollars. Damn, so, okay. I mean, that's like three or four ways, but yeah, still, bro, like that's still big for like one a party. Yeah. And then I got into throwing like I started coming to Greensboro real heavy on the party scene. Like back when Big Boy and Z Tweezy was doing the parties, like a club fluid. So um, you know, really, that's when I guess I took it to another level. When Big Boy was like, "Yo, so, like he he just made an announcement one day. He was like, "Yo, if anybody wanna be on, if anybody wanna be on the street team, or he ain't say to his, I need two people from each high school to meet me in the back." Yeah. So I went back there. Like, what the hell you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I wanna know what's going on. Yeah. So uh. I was the only person back there from High Point period. It's like three high schools, four high schools in High Point. So it's like, you know, you got the people back from Smith, Dudley, Rags, Dudley, everywhere else. Like shit, I hold down all the high schools. I can't wait to, I already be going to all the football games if, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like I said, I be moving and I just like being out, period. I like, I'm out here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's yeah. what they're saying, well, I was out there. Okay. So um, what was I saying? Yeah, that, that's that's what that was. And yeah, yeah um, like I said, man, it's, it's, it's really, it's really, a lot of it really comes natural, bro. But like the team, we, I don't know how the ideas come up, bro. We, we got a strong team of individuals. Everybody's creative, straight out, shout out to Street and Zix. Like even from the Pink Trap House to the Dabbing Santa to, yeah. you know, like we, 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 I guess the, here go my number one marketing strategy right here. If you think it, do it. Put it in the motion, man. Just do like, it. Ain't nothing impossible. Straight up, like, yeah. if you're talking about it, do it. If you want to get a billboard, cut the check, do it. Like, it's a way to do things, man. Build your relationships. That's a great marketing strategy right there. Yeah. Build your relationships. Be original. And if you, that's what you're going to do. You got to do it every day. Okay. So. Now, you seem like a real cool dude. You feel me? like you don't really have sure, problems. Bro. Same to you. H have anybody ever, like, body burnt a bridge with you before? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Some somebody ain't agree with what I was doing when I when I I ain't even gonna get in all like real disrespect. It like, it, it, it done happened before. Like I ain't I ain't like the way they came at me. So it's like, bro, this is what I do. You know, it made me realize even more. Like other than me being a grown ass man, it's like shit. This this I choose what I want to play. You know what I'm saying? I ain't forced to play nothing. But yeah. you can't please everybody, bro. I think that's what it really is. And that's when I realized, yo, it's even more. I got to tell you, it's a real business, bro. Like. It, is, it was a lesson learned. I think that's what it was. Like it wasn't a burnt bridge. It was me learning a lesson. Like yeah. okay, you can't you can't be showing all this love out here because the second that you can't, I guess, do the thing somebody wants you to do for them, then it's like, so yeah. So uh, might have burnt bridge, but it's all good. Ain't no ain't no hate. Ain't no nothing going on like that. Yeah. I, it's all depth. And it's been a few folks that like. It's, it's business, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a business, so. Yeah. But it's like you can't get in your feelings over this stuff. I think that's what it really is. Yeah. Like, uh, feelings got involved. And you can't you can't have no feelings in this business, bro. Oh, if you if you're gonna be in this business, your feelings gotta be out the window. You can't be soft, boy. Folks gonna say some mean things to you. Bro. Yeah, people came at me crazy. Going, boy, I'm trying to tell you, like. I know it's gonna get worse too. A lot of things that's gonna go on in this business. Like, yeah. How long you been doing this? Like a year, like oh, four man, months, that five months. That ain't nothing. That's longer than some like. Yeah, well, you gonna, you gonna see some things. I'm gonna see Especially some things, camera, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Boy. And then I already know, like, even now, like, how, how like, you ain't gotta get in all that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let somebody yeah. else interview I'm you. Yeah, I'm but, 26, like, though. Bro, it, it's, this thing been going on for a while. You gotta you got stay with the times, too, man. That's yeah. another thing with the marketing, like, even right now, like, I've been hip to your campaign for some months. You know what I'm saying? You're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I applaud that. Shout out to your brand. That's but it's up. like, even your page, you getting me in tune with a. A lot, of the, a lot of the new cats in the Carolinas, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, be easy, he be breaking a lot of folks in the Carolinas. It's a lot of DJs I can name, but just like as far as like, even like a like trap or somebody, just to, um, you got those artists that actually still doing the mixtapes, but still in the streets with it. Mm -hmm. Plus they got they, uh, I guess they got, they got they viral with it too. So yeah. that's what you're doing. You providing that platform for folks. Yeah. And, and that's one thing the Carolina needs, it's like, Folks go to Atlanta, folks go to the West, folks go to New York because that's where the industry is. In Carolina, it's like, not, we gotta build the industry here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's gonna take folks like you. Um, Carolina on the rise. It's a lot of folks I can name, gothaze.com, that actually had a metro proponent, like they actually had that platform and those blogs, cause that's, that, that's what Atlanta got, so many blogs. It's, yeah. so many, it's cameras all the time, bro. Like you can do an interview every day in Atlanta if you want to. Yeah. In New York, that's where we go to New York for our media run. 
West Coast, that's where a lot of labels at as well, like media runs out there. So folks gotta wanna come to North Carolina to pull up on Futures TV. You feel what I'm saying? That's right. To pull up on whatever other blog. So it's like we gotta create that market here. And that's really all it is, man. So you can't be mad at J. Cole. I've been seeing a lot of stuff lately about yeah. I'm gonna get on the stage. Bro, if you ain't hot, you don't need to be on that stage just because you're from Carolina. That's all it is to it, dog. You gotta be working out here. Can you sell tickets? Can like, are you a brand? The brand are, are people rocking with you? Are you hard? Like, come on, bro. Yeah. And that's what you're doing though. Like you're giving a platform that's letting the people decide. Like I'm putting you up here, but it's up to the people if they rocking with you or not. I'm giving you a platform. Now, what you gonna do with this platform? Yeah. Don't just drop this one video or pay me to drop this one video. If I show you love on this one video or post, like folks gotta follow up. All right, future's what we're going to do, bro. I want to pull up on you for the interview. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. It's a little bit of free game. We ain't going to go all this. <laughs> you got stuff to do. I got stuff to do, too. And I'm sure we'll bump heads yeah. a few more times, man. Okay. So. And I seen that you, you was at, um, I think I want to say, uh, 200,000. Was it followers or 100,000 followers uh, on Instagram? See, I was capping a little bit when I said 200. I was probably like at a cool 70 or 80. And then um, they banged my page for copyright infringement because I'm signed up as an artist as well. Yeah. So it's like. Just putting the other songs up, other artists up. Yeah. And um. So they could take my if shit I don't down. Have rights to it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's like they was flagging me a whole bunch. Oh, they ain't do nothing. They was flagging me a whole bunch, but I'm sitting here like, all right, they can't be talking about this song. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. They, they ain't on me for real, for real. But then one day I got off a flight. I looked at my shit. Wouldn't let me log on. Wouldn't let me log on. So I think somebody hacked my page or something. Come to turn out eventually, like, cause I had, you know, I'm getting brothers to check the label to see, like, yo, can you help me here? I got relationships to Instagram, I'm thinking. Yeah. And everybody directed me to the same one or two people. Eventually, it was like, um, shit, yeah, copyright infringement. You know, you weren't owning the rights to the song. So, yeah, be careful on that, you know. uh, And, you know, it's folks out here with way more followers than me to be posting yeah. songs, but I don't know. It's all good. A bounce back ain't nothing, man. Have that effect. Plus, I'm really out here, so, but, it, it, but that was a. Yeah, it's all good. Have it affect you a little bit though? Like affect your brand and stuff? Uh, like a, just a little that's bit? That's question, bro. I don't know, bro, because I really be having relationships. Like I feel like a lot of them folks to follow me, and I was following a lot of folks on that page too. Like I was probably following like 4,000 people for real. Yeah. It's like, dog, I really be having relationships out here. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of folks. Obviously, it's not, that, that's a big platform, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, it, it's definitely a few folks is missing, or a cool amount of folks is missing what I'm saying, but yeah. you know, it's, it's still folks that looking at the page even then you following, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shit, I don't follow some folks, but I be lurking on their page, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it facts. is what it is. Like, shit, I don't even know if I follow Shade Room, but I be looking to see what they got going on every once in a while. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's plenty, folks be knowing what's going on, but that's another thing with the marketing team, you gotta cool, like, what's some other ways we gotta market to get shit out here? Yeah. Plus, I really be out here in the streets at the same time, too, so it's like, it's all good. We'll bounce back on that. Okay. Shout out to IG, though. Damn, y'all. Smoke my boots with that one. Yeah, that, that's bad <laughs> right there, man. Um, all right, so, man, talk to people about what you got next. I'm, I see you got a, um, you going to Toronto tomorrow. Yeah, Toronto you tomorrow. Gotta, um, yeah. We're doing Bring Your Own Beats out there. That's a producer platform that I do. Uh, Based in Atlanta, we done brought it to Carolina, we've been to Tennessee with it, we've been to the West Coast with it, now we're going international with it. So we'll be in Toronto tomorrow. Um, and after that, got a show with Big Homie 2 Chain, that's what we're really going up there for. We got a show out there at the Rebel. Okay. And uh, see, I be working my moves when I be in these cities, I got the relationship. So, of course, I got booked for an after party out there. So I got to turn up the club in the six. And then, uh, other said. than that, man, still serving, that's out right now, six song EP. Just showing my A&R skills. I actually produced one of the tracks on there as well, alongside my dog CO. So check out the Diamond Accessories uh, with Coach Nosha Kid in school, produced by the Golden Child DJ E Sud. So okay. just trying to cap in as many ways as you can, man. You gotta have a few. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a few ways of getting it out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you got, you gotta be the artist. You gotta be the team. You gotta, yeah. you gotta really get hands on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I do. And that's was pretty much brought me to where I am right now. I'm gonna keep on going. So it's like, man, I got, yeah, so still serving out right now. Strap on the check-in out right now. Uh, at J-Way Sosa, all facts going crazy. That video gonna be on the way. Uh, what else I got going on, Taylor? That, that's about, huh? Strap. Yeah, that's strap on the check-in. Other than that, man, it's, it's something every day. Rapper go to the league on the way. 
Cap One just dropped. Dolph out here giving 40 bands to folks that just lost their job. That's oh, yeah, love. That, yeah, I seen Shit. that. Schoolie going crazy. Kid going crazy. 217 going crazy. Hollywood YC. Go ahead and get familiar with that name. He going crazy. He'll be up here in a week. So, um, what else we got, bro? Yeah, man. Our team going crazy. Did I miss anybody else? We had Tigo going crazy. Gianni going crazy. The baby going crazy. Sug going crazy. Everybody out here going crazy, man. Get to work, bro. Straight up. We out here at work. Yeah. Get your ass to work. Let the people know where they can follow you at, man. Uh, sud, sud, sud. That's the new page. S-U-D-D. -D. Three times. Uh, shit, man. Esud.com. Other than that, we out here for real, man. Might bump heads in. I'm going to the mall right now. Uh -huh. Give me something. A little something to throw on, man. So, uh, yeah, we out here. Sud on the check-in. Futures TV. Appreciate yeah. the love. Let's keep it going, man. Uh -huh.